Hi everyone and welcome. I am Pastor Ben, Pastor of the Salvation Empowerment Sanctuary, the House of Testimony. We are located on 1325 Demers Avenue, Grand Fox, North Dakota. Once again, you're welcome. I want us to discuss a special meeting between Jesus and a certain woman, popularly known as the woman at the well. In the book of John chapter 4, verse 7, Jesus encounters this woman. The woman came to the well to collect water. Jesus, without any formality or greetings, utters his first words to the woman. And the words are, give me to drink. My brother, my sister, have you once met an evangelist, a Christian, some pastor or man of God, woman of God, coming to you to say, give your life to Christ? Or coming to you to say, come and attend church service? Or coming to you to say, come and give your time to Christ and listen to the word of God? Maybe you heard that once. Maybe you've heard that twice or more than that. And you thought that person was asking for a favor from you. I want you to understand this. That person was making way for you to have favor. And that is how things of God are. Jesus tells this woman, give me to drink. But at the end, it is the woman that drinks the living water. God asked Abraham, bring your most loved and only son to me. That son was Isaac. But at the end, it is Abraham that is made the father of many nations. Jesus goes to the sea and tells Peter, give me your boat. But at the end, it is Peter that becomes the greatest fish, fisherman of the day and ends up becoming the fishers of men and no longer of fish. So, my brother, my sister, listen to me and listen with all the attention this requires for you to understand. When you are asked to go to a church or to surrender your life to Jesus Christ, it is not like you are giving God a special favor. No, the favor is yours instead. In the contrary, we of the Salvation Empowerment Sanctuary, Grand Forks, we have been ordered by the Holy Spirit in the words of Matthew 10, verse 8, to heal the sick, to raise the dead, to cast out demons, to cleanse the lepers, to prophesy, and all this freely. For the word of God ends by saying, freely you have received, freely you shall give. And that is what we are out for. We have received freely from God, and we are ready to give freely. So my brother, my sister, who is around Grand Fox, or anywhere around North Dakota, or even out of North Dakota, we know that there is church apathy. Many people do not like to attend church any longer. Reason being that they don't think there is anything for them to benefit from church. People feel that church has nothing to offer. Instead, they are the ones that give to the churches. But I want you to note this. Church still has a lot to offer. Especially the Salsa Church. I am talking about the Salvation Empowerment Sanctuary the house of testimony in Grand Fox. We believe that if you come to church sick, you must go back healed. You must cast your sickness upon the shoulders of Jesus Christ. You must cast your sickness upon his feet before returning home. We believe that if you come to church, demon possess, those demons must remain in the sanctuary while you go back home. You should not bring problems, challenges, difficulties, cancer to church and go back with the cancer it shouldn't be so because jesus is the solution to all problems all challenges all sickness anything that is hindering you from progressing from prospering from succeeding from living the life that god created you to live jesus is able to take away and we of the salvation empowerment sanctuary the House of Testimony in Grand Forks, North Dakota, we are just out to do that, to represent Jesus 
in all his qualities and in all his power. So we welcome you on 1325 Demers Avenue, Grand Fox. God bless you and see you on Sunday.